mass delivery kit. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. See the divide. See what happened. Ralph, fly far, fly fast. You and that ship deserve each other. At the end of the high road lies Ashton. It's Silo. I didn't intend to set off that missile over the divide. Didn't stop you though. Your roads are not done. The way ahead and below leads to the heart of the divide. Through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. Hello Internet and welcome back to another adventure of Mr. Jammy Pastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. We ended last episode at the mouth of the cave of Abaddon, but we're not going in there at the moment. Instead, we are going to explore a little bit more of this area um, on the outskirts of the Divide, because, well, there is quite a lot of stuff that um, we missed. So, including this audio log, Y1723. Oh! Just got an achievement. Ulysses Odyssey. We just completed a challenge. Challenges. Oh, it's all in alphabetical order. Ulysses Odyssey. Discovered all about Ulysses' past. That's all right. Y17.23. The white legs, meant to show respect, bribe me for Kaiser's favor, echoing mannerisms and words. Showed them tech caches, taught them the workings of chamber and powder, spoke of Kaiser's pride in those that used such things. Lies. And. And then. They tried to honor me. Not the Legion. They brought me before the campfire one night. Showed me how they changed themselves. How they wore their hair now. It was like my entire dead tribe in the firelight. Teeth grinning red in the dark. Eager corpses. Blood-covered ghosts. They had taken my braids. The way of the twisted hairs. As if it showed they were like me, of me. While every knot in their braids spoke of raping, violence, and ignorance of what the knots meant. They thought to show respect. Defiled it. Lost myself in trying to read the braids they wove. When I remembered, they had put no meaning in it. They had no history of what it meant. They didn't even know the insult and the twist, not. And the dry wells came rushing back. The white legs circled like that. It was like looking at the dead of my tribe, reborn as ghosts, hateful, hungry, bowing to Kaisar. Another history, gone, carried by me alone. Wow, so... Now we know. In the previous logs, Ulysses mentioned how he went to Zion Canyon and taught the White Legs how to use their weapons, their storm drums. And out of respect, the White Legs braided and styled their hair in the style of Ulysses. But turned out that the White Legs worshipped Ulysses, and he should have been worshipping Kaisar. So we've got all of you to see these audio logs. Okay. Next. Let's go up this ramp and into that building. Let's go to all of the locations in the divide. Oh, if you haven't got the wild wacky wasteland perk, I have a feeling this terminal isn't supposed to be here. 
Office of the Treasurer. Treasurer office should keep an eye on those guys down at the water treatment plant. Third request for extra funds. Just like they want the communists to win. Well, clean drinking water is essential. Do not engage the protesters outside the construction zone. Oh, we got protesters. Good next fills my brain with the white hot rage of capitalist justice. Memo from Commander Devon. Also play host to one of the greatest American patriots of our day, General Wellesley himself. For those of you whose family trees don't fork. General. Chief as an officer to the Big Mountain Research Facility. He and his team are paying us a visit to collect our guests and take them someplace where they can do some good for their country beyond stinking of patchouli and shooting the LSD. You don't shoot LSD, you put it on the tongue. Guests. I have a feeling he's talking about protesters. Municipal sewers? It's like close quarters. Kamadra E Perk rank 5. Increasing your accuracy in VATS as long as Eddie is your companion. Eddie also gains an accuracy boost while he is your companion. Ooh, lovely. A pass over challenge. 600 we've got for that. Right above where we started, dirty water. Oh, right, can oh. Now, the reason we left the red glare behind is because. Well, it weighs 20-something pounds. And also... Also, we get a red glare as part of the loot for completing the Lonesome Road DLC. So we don't really need to pick one up. Encumbered, aren't I? Yeah, I am. You're not, I'm not in direct sunlight. stick to the wall otherwise I'll get stuck on a plank of wood okay back through here then back down a wealthy po 
posters in here, are there? The blue icon by Ulysses, meaning loot this way. does look quite sweet actually. Also, what does the elite right here look like? Ooh! Oh! Well, the yeah. Okay, so we saved here. Oh, we're this. We're back at the cave of abandon. So I want to keep that helmet. That does look lush. Let's give this baby a whirl. Ooh. Eat over this way. <laughs> Futurama reference. I'll take Seymour. Suitcase. Sunflower Summer. Who is Sunflower Summer? Dear Diary, I think we did it. We finally convinced the death merchants to hear our beautiful Mother Earth cry. Oh. I think this is one of the hippie protesters. I just had a personal meeting with the base commander who said they would be taking a long, hard look at our demands and preparing something special for us. I can't wait to see what it is. I bet it's a full nuclear disarmament. No, no, it isn't. You're going to um, Big Mountain for experimentation, lady. Guns is being drained. Gods, Eddie flipping. Only gets unconscious, he's not destroyed.
Shoulder mounted machine gun is awesome. Such an awesome gun. Abandon also top the pack, don't take that. Perfectly fine as it is. Go home to Some pre war books here. Next week on Ralphie the Robot's Incredible Odyssey. Ralphie, hurry! If mean old General Winters catches you, you'll never make it home! No! Ralphie, fly far, fly fast! Tune in next Saturday for the exciting conclusion. Only on Vault Tech Channel 9. Eddie? What are you doing in here all alone? And who left these old videos playing? Come on, let's get you into your recharge bay. We've got a big day tomorrow. Suddenly, a lot of things make more sense. Yes, Eddie, I'm sure Ralphie the robot would be very proud of you. So, is that what you're doing? Trying to find your way home? Don't worry, I won't let any mean old generals get you. Come on, Eddie. We've got to fly far and fly fast if we want to get out of the divide. Don't be stupid. Thought that explosion, that building falling deep in the divide, might have been your work. Wouldn't kill you. Maybe close. Knew you'd survive. But no need to go any farther. You've brought me what I need. That machine with you. Needed someone to unlock it. Bring it home. Now the signal's strong enough. No need for you to carry it anymore. What, Eddie? You gave it a name. What was it to you? Companion? Slave? Weapon? It's a messenger. Like us. And it shares our history. If you feel its loss, remember... You could have turned away at any time. But you had to make one last delivery. And that's why I knew you'd come, Courier. You're not taking Eddie from me. The machine you brought is mine now. It's coming home. What's inside that machine? That's all that mattered. All the machines here. Made of wreckage from the divide. Inside its frame, it carries.
is the message you brought here, and it'll do what it was programmed to do, whatever it can to get home. The giants here will listen to it. I'll bring the divide to your home, your nation. Let its flag burn. Big mountain access code. Ulysses. Command override. Navarro. Ulysses has seized control of Eddie. You have lost Eddie as a companion and everything he was carrying has been transferred to your inventory. You have lost Eddie's enhanced sense mark. Where's he going? The missiles. More missile silos up there. That must be where he went. Okay. All right, Ulysses. That's the way you want to play it. Let's play it. Quite a few death claws around this bit. I have to take it a bit slowly. Save here because I want to try a bit of an experiment. Flash grenades. Will they work on a death claw? No, they won't. No, they won't work on a death claw. Okay. New plan. Anti-material rifle. Alright, you pieces of fucking... But I'm still carrying those things around. I don't carry... Incendiary ammo. Okay. Those of rounds aren't working. Fuck. Come on, then, bitch. He was running through that pool and coming back out again. Here's a thing out there. I'm not going out there. <laughs> Predators of the wasteland, my ass.
Finally! One down! Safe. I'm here, you stupid flipping wasteland abomination. Come get me! That's what I thought! Save. Don't make me get out the mini nuke. Or the fat man. Right, what's in what's in here? Rockets, MREs. This is Save. This is Rar's cave. Stress beacon. Right, what's in your distress beacon? Mayday! 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 This is NCR Trooper Gleason calling anyone listening on this channel. My platoon has been wiped out, and I am pinned down by a goddamn huge death claw in a place called the Divide. So far, I've been able to scare it away with flares, but I lack any explosives to kill the damn thing. Please assist. I say again, please assist. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is NCR Trooper Gleason calling anyone listening on this channel. Okay. We don't have a flare gun, do we? No, we don't. See if we can sneak up on the fucker. Fat man v death claw. Fat man always wins. Now if we take Ra's Talon. Yep, this claw is larger and more impressive than those of lesser death claws. You won't be able to turn it into a weapon if you find a workbench. Yep. Why <clears throat> seven pounds each? I'm so glad I brought my fat man with me. Okay. Now we do have some more warheads in here to blow up. Okay. Let's blow that one. And we can blow up that one blocking our path. Okay, so weapons. Laser detonator. Ready weapon. Shoot, 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 shoot. That's half of the warheads. Bright, very bright.
What? Fuck! <sighs> okay. So I can just make out explosive. Hey, leveled up again. Sweet. Hey. Don't. Whoa. Okay. Everything else is now just dumped into unarmored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve skills out of thirteen, all out of hundred. Wah! Send you to me, Jammy. Jim Browns, no. No, blah, 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 blah. Pedo, no. Campbell, no. no. Shotgun Surgeon. Take that one. Mm, living Anatomy. I'll do the. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Finesse. Chance to score a critical hit on the front of Link's set. Five extra points of luck. Do you know what? Light step. Gonna need that. So we're going into satchel charge territory. Thank you. Okay. Are you hollow points? By the way, Shit! Did you kindly hold still while I'm trying to snipe you? Okay, wait for him to come to me. Don't hmm. find six explosive rounds.
Ooh. And they have stealth boys as well. Or had. Take those. Can't use it while in combat. Not taking an action report. Hmm, dust your hand. Take that. I think somebody might be stalking us. Tribal armor. Flare gun. Super armor. Ooh. I can only do it to the gear I'm wearing. I see. I see. I see now. Aha, that's where I got the jury rigger perk wrong. But enemies are nearby. Oh, for God's sake. Looks like I'm continuing on and on and on and on.
it's not Grissom or whatever the fuck his name is. Blade. Different blades. Figured out what was stalking me. Oh, fuck, you can't sleep when you're being irradiated, for God's sake. Another earthquake. So is that one little jutting bit, debris, that jammy always seems to get stuck on. One wasn't wearing a helmet. Ah. Fist of the North Roar. <laughs> Two ten weight. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who else is out here playing silly buggers? Okay, no sleep for Jammy then. So he's playing an all nighter. Thank you. I'm asleep now.
close quarters on the other side. Switch to the slug rounds. Don't let me down, don't let me down. Remember, this is only possible through the uh, jury rigging perk. Because if you're just doing a normal Fallout New Vegas character build, you will not be able to do what I'm doing. With all the different armors repairing a certain set of armor. This is glyph, this is the way. Do you know the way? Disarming personality. There it is! We're near the end!
and some storage. Wait, hang on. Yeah, this is the silo. This is where we're supposed to be going. Here I come, Ulysses. I actually thought it would take us two episodes to finish this, but, uh, no. The courier. Sentry bots. Post gun. one. Leveled up. Disengage the lock. Done. Level forty nine. It's a map of the divide. Hmm. Well, there's Hopeville, where we came in. Red must mean inoperable. So yellow must mean ready to launch. Let's have a look at the map. Where exactly are we, world map-wise? We're here. Ulysses Temple. Career's Mile. Remove it. Path to the Career's Mile. Access the maintenance area. Get ED out. Occupied. You okay? What happened? You just took off like you finally found home. An override frequency. So what? Ulysses just called you here? But why would he do that? He wasn't to lure me here. Ulysses already knew I was coming.
Whatever he's planning, Ulysses obviously wants you there. Come on, I hate to disappoint him. Take the mini nuke. Keys required. Access the main corridor. Okay, let's check our status very quickly. Okay. Wait, let's take my helmet off so we can see my face. Once you ascend this elevator, you cannot return until you end this. If you have everything else you want to do before you go ahead, take care of it now. Okay, step back, save. Take the elevator. Now, usually when I approach Ulysses, I always talk him down from his plan. The thing about it is, you can fight him. However, the fight is very long and very hard. So, before we do anything though, we are going to spread some of these mines about satchel charges. There's a reason why we're doing that. What's he doing? He's bringing a nuclear missile on. You Ulysses. Your city, Vegas, lies in the other direction with the rest of its slaves. Or is it just you, courier, without the lights and ghosts? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. What happened at the Divide, what I did, was an accident. What you're doing is madness. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The Divide. The chip. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. If you blame me for the Divide, let me answer for it, not others. <laughs> blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. So what, you intend to bomb the Mojave? No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. 
You walked the west, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. Without NCR to support it, Vegas will fall to the Legion. That grave of lights, back to dust and ghosts, as it was meant. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. You can't destroy the West, even with all the missiles here. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. Now, let me just quickly explain. When you're doing this final dialogue duel with Ulysses, whatever faction you have the highest respect with is the one you fight for. Now, Legion hate me. NCR, I'm just good-natured rascal, which means I did some good for them, did some bad for them, and did even more good for them. So my reputation with them is not spotless. The NCR knew I was playing them against the Legion. They knew that. So the only one I have is Vegas. Not really the curious duster I wanted, but it'll have to do. Even if you have no faith in Vegas, I do, and my actions have proven it. Your actions have carried strength. More importantly, not for House, but for the families on the Strip. If the ghosts of Vegas have come from behind their wall to speak for the West, I'll hear their words. If you believe that Vegas does not deserve to die as the bear does, then answer me why. Now, the speech prompt is the easy way. We can also go about all the tribes we could talk to him about his history so we're not going to go with the speech check that's the easy way this is another way you do it your tapes prove you've walked the mojave yet learned the wrong lessons comes down to perspective how far one's walked and what they've left behind if you challenge this moment let's hear your perspective who are you, who do not know your history? That question... Either you walked the big empty... You found the last of the hollow tapes. The words are mine. Whatever answer you think they hold, you're wrong. When all seemed lost, you asked it even though you feared the answer. It was all you could say to prevent from being killed. That's what I'm hoping for here. I don't know about that one. The question remained, the ones you spoke to of their purpose, why they cared. Um, mm -hmm. The question reminded the ones you spoke to of their purpose, why they cared. Okay, let's go with this one. I spoke those words in anger. I did not expect an answer. All was lost. I thought it was the end. Past their graves of failed technology. They had cared about the flag they had followed, and the people beneath it, even with them dead and gone. But there's no answer in that. I do this because I care. Because I believe it must be done. You said in the logs yourself that technology is a dead road. These missiles will solve nothing. Those are my words. After what happened with the Brotherhood. Talking with them. Then with the rulers of the Big Empty. But it is their philosophy that was flawed. Their weapons used with new perspective. Those weapons can be used to kill a symbol that has already proven itself wrong. It hasn't proven itself wrong. That's why the Legion NCR conflict must be continued to test it. 
by your standards or histories. Any symbol deserves a chance to defend itself by words or by action of this. Um, hmm. Let's tr let's try this one. Any symbol deserves a chance to defend itself by words or acts, not this. As you defend it now, nothing can prevent what comes. The missiles will launch. These quest. Don't do that because it'll attack you. Okay. Do this way. I believe destroying the symbol is never the answer. Changing it, that's something else. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here. One buried this place, yet it lived on between us. One may build it again, build others. Your history has proven this here. There is truth in your words. But even if there's hope in change, it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. What do you mean? Our enemies gather outside. Shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the Mark men would flood this place cut off your escape if we cannot prevent what comes then let us make our stand here two couriers together at the divide and now ulysses will fight with us The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide. Where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. Let's loot. How is my armor looking? It's looking all right.
Nope. Before we go on, just um, one little uh, quick um, note. If you cannot talk Ulysses down while he's using his um, iBots, and his iBots repair his weapons and also heal him, which is what makes this a very difficult fight. Now, there is a terminal in here where you, where you can um, switch off his iBots. Okay, now this is the finale. Now, I'm going to show you the wild and wacky wasteland ending before doing the good ending. Both NCR and Seizures Legion. This is for the wacky wasteland ending, which I'm going to show to you. This will launch Ulysses missiles against targets in the heartland of the NCR and the lands held by the Legion, raining nuclear fire down on both factions. Are you guys ready for another wild and wacky wasteland moment? The couriers finally really did it. They blew up the lands west and east of the Mojave, damning them all to hell. The act was discovered 200 years later, as other couriers explored the Mojave wastes. There, they saw NCR relics, reminders of their once proud history. And of course, if you do that um, ending, you gain positive reputation with the boomers and the powder gangers because hey they both love explosions but this is the super good ending we're going to do attempt to cancel the launch ask eddie for help experiment log 369248-a i bought duraframe universal interface override system this is dr whitley presiding initial tests of the override system are promising against unsecured or lightly encrypted targets the iBots have a 98% success rate. More heavily protected systems are still problematic. Military-grade encryption presents a very real possibility of critical overload of key systems. We've stopped tests before any robots were destroyed. But if we don't address the problem, our iBots will fry themselves hacking military networks. Are you... Are you saying you can stop this missile? The log said that this kind of encryption would kill you. <sighs> Better you than me, let's do this. Let's leave the divide 
Let's go. Let's get out of here. Get separated. I'll meet you about hope. some road my second favorite of the fallout new vegas dlcs the fires of armageddon the divide broke cities flayed skin from bone and threatened to destroy the world but you survived it and stopped it you can put a single point into any of your special attributes you can gain reputation with the followers of the apocalypse and the brotherhood of steel for stopping another armageddon that is the only way you could be idolized by the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. Um, let's put another point into intelligence. Red glare. Courier's duster. Final message. We have reached maximum level. That's it. Level cap reached. We can no longer level up. That's it. Two, three. The only way we can now add points to an armoured skill is through uh, skill books. Okay, and our last perk. What shall we have? Endurance 8, ah ha ha. Right. 
thought you died. Your storied past has fallen from memory because everyone thought you died. Your karma is reset. You inflict plus 10% damage for every 100 points of karma. Gain 10 points of health. We're also immune to critical hits. Quite as good karma. Let's see. What else can we have? Let's have the finesse perk. Because that perk comes highly recommended. And I've never had that perk before in any build. So, technically, yeah, let's make Jammy live up to his, um, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. Now, our critical hit likeness is now equivalent if we had 15 points of luck. And that seems like a convenient place to stop. We've finished Lonesome Road. However, there is still one area of the divide we still have to go, and that's the Courier's Mile. You might remember in an earlier episode how we launched the ICBM over Ashton and it blew up. Well, it opened up another part of the map in the divide. Next episode, we are going to unload off some of the gear and walk the Courier's Mile. And we'll do all of that next time. Again, if you have enjoyed this Let's Play series so far, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can always follow me on Twitter at Sandy B. Fox. Tune in again next time for another exciting adventure of Mr. Jammy Bastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked in a Harvey Wasteland. Same Fallout time, same Fallout channel. The end is near. <laughs>